As I suspected, 32 flavors. So it appears that the announcement that was today was actually quite the bomb dropper and one that I, in retrospect, I should have actually seen coming because, well, I heard the first crumblings of this, if you will, way back when on an earlier episode of Midnight's Edge in the morning when Air July had said that uh, him and Todd McFarlane, they knew of each other existing in the same space. And I should have made the connection. I thought that was interesting, so it let me know that they at least had spoken. I'm like, okay, that's cool, you know, who knows what will come of that, whether it's toys or comic clap, I don't know. But here we go with this announcement, and I was just like, whoa, okay, that, that's big, uh, Yaira Stashu, and that's, 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 that's mega, that's cool, that's great, and it tells me a few things, and that's pretty much why I'm recording this, because not is it cool to see that market being crossed over, but you also have also the the building of the bridge once more further. I did a video a while back about you know Eric doing uh, his uh, talk with Jimmy Palmiotti. Now I got him with Todd McFarlane. I see guys from this let's just say the YouTube underground corner of the comic sphere talking and collaborating with the more mainstream guys. I love to see that. It lets me know that. Maybe, maybe there's a little bit, and I don't say these words lightly. I don't say I'm off. You could go look at my videos. There's a little bit of a shift, a little bit of a, a tie turning where guys from these different spheres are working together and saying, hey, let's all work together and make the best product we can, whether it's for comics or action figures. That is great. That's a big takeaway for me. I love seeing that collaboration. It lets me know that we can um, actually build bridges and not have to worry about any of the ones that have been burnt. We can now make new ones and work with some of these big dogs. That is fantastic. And on top of it, I love McFarlane toys. I'm a big fan. Um, I've got my polka dot man. I want to show this one off from the 2021 Suicide Squad movie right here. So take a look at that sucker. Big, 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 big fan. And of course, no, I love my Batman the Animated Series. Got, got me some Scarecrow, man. And, you know, when you got the collection, after you get, like, all the collection. Yeah, look at that. Look at that sucker. Uh, when you get that, Batman the Earth, I'm, I'm building my Polka Dot Man. So, I'm slowly getting my Polka Dot Man. So, needless to say, I really I really love my McFarlane figures. I've got a few more lying around, a few more on the way. I saw the new Green Arrow. Looks kick-ass. I love this. And I'm hoping. So, I'm not a statue guy. So, I probably will not be getting a statue for a while. Maybe one day when money's... A bit, bit, bit better I can do it because I try not to be a payment plan type of guy. I do want them, especially for a bigger place. But for now, I'm happy for those because it's clear that there's a market for the statues. And I'm happy for those people. That's freaking awesome. For me, I would like my regular figures. Like, let's just say, put it this way. Like, had like a figure of like Gooding and maybe um, Isom. And they could have um, Darren Fontano. And maybe get a few of those figures and they can have like a, a put together, built together of Shadron from ISOM number two. See, there you go. There's your idea. Because I love those things with the McFarlane toys where you buy four or five figures of a series and then they all come with a piece that build a, a, a unique character. I think a build of Shadron would be really cool. I think that would actually, man, the more I think about it, I'm kind of giving myself an idea. Hey, if you're hearing this, just saying. So... I'm already dreaming about the possibilities of this collaboration. I hope that this is the first of many steps to go. Who knows? Maybe this will lead into Sideshow Collectibles as well for the Hot Toys market. Because I know the Hot Toy market is a big thing as well. So, either way, I'm happy for those who are the statue lovers. And as a McTar uh, McFarland Toys fan, I'm really excited. Because now I'm thinking, alright, get some series figures made. So I can get my build a Shadron or someone else. Once again, just live an example. But anyways, I just want to share my thoughts on that. Because this is, this is actually kind of big news. And I didn't expect it to be like of this magnitude. So let me know your thoughts on this collaboration. I'll see you all in the next video. And you lay down your souls to the gods rock and roll. Barbecue, huh? How do you like your ribs?